Welcome to Privileged Catamarans America. I'm Rob Poirier. Today we're going to do a tour of the plumbing systems aboard this new Privilege 510 Tikluna. So we mentioned when we were in the port engine room that the cut shutoff valves for the aft cabins were located right there. For the salon and the master cabin, those line shutoffs are right here under the galley floor. Also under the galley floor, you'll see that we have the water lines that feed hot and cold to, of course, your, your, your sink and your dishwasher. We also have the drain lines for both the sink as well as the uh, the refrigerator that is located inboard here. The last item that the owner asked to, the owners asked us to install in the galley is a seagull water filter, so it's located right here as well. Located right under the oven here in the galley is another valve for the propane line. In here as well is a propane alarm sensor. In order to gain service access to the compressor for this two drawer refrigerator, you do need to re remove these two garbage bins in order to get into the lower floor space. We're all the way forward here on the port side in the master cabin and below this very first floorboard we'll see that we have access below to a hose that is connected to the crash box at the front of the boat. And the purpose of this is if you were to ever encounter a, a collision mild or severe you can use this to determine whether or not you're actually having any water ingress. Because this is such an excellent storage environment, Privilege has created this protective fiberglass cover that can be placed over the sender. Protect it. That way you can drop whatever you want into this locker, not worry about doing any damage. Also in the forward master suite, we have another locker that contains two things. Uh, the condensation box as well as the overboard pump for the coil fan that is located just, in, just behind this cabinet work here. The fan coil would drain into the collector box here and of course we have the pump to, to move that water overboard. Um, inspection and cleaning is easy with this top inspection port. Still on the starboard side in the pantry area we have below this floorboard the water tank. Uh, one of two water tanks of course. And what we see here is the sender unit. We have also the fill, which of course leads right to the deck. Um, that is the pickup line for the water and the return line. We do in fact have a large inspection port here as well, but we hope you never ever have to use that. Here on the port side of Tikluna, there are, there's only the one toilet and this is the black water tank to service it. Um, located on the top of the tank, of course, you'll find a filter to reduce odor You'll also see the inline from the toilet. That on top you'll have out of view a little bit is the deck pump out. But for overboard discharge, you have a pump here and we'll show you the, uh, the seacock down below in a moment. So located under this small hatch gains you access to the seacock for the discharge of the black tank. You can also see the bilge for this side of the boat and you'll notice there's a dual float switch system which of course is much quieter and very efficient. But you can also see for the manual bilge pump from the cockpit, the pickup point there as well. In addition to the two drawer refrigerator, every 510 we've delivered has also had this large refrigerator and freezer located here at the bottom of the steps. 
This hatch at the base of the steps is where you'll see lo located the compressors for both the freezer and the refrigerator sitting on these shelves. So it's very accessible for servicing. So under this floorboard in the port side cabin is the fuel tank. But there are two things going on here, so I'm going to start by discussing the fuel itself. First of all, the port engine sips only from the port tank. So the pickup line here is just for that port engine. And you'll see, of course, a return line right beside it. Over here at the front of the tank is the fill line that goes, of course, to the deck. Also on the tank is the sender unit. Also located on top of the fuel tank, you'll see, are the shutoff valves for, for cold and hot water for everything here in this washroom area, the shower and sink, toilet and such. It's all, this is your shutoff valves here. There's one more hatch located here in the aft cabin on this port side. And located in the first you'll notice inboard is in another accumulation tank with a pump. And this, of course, handles both the shower as well as the fan coil located in this room. Located further aft, you'll see the hot water tank is mounted. Located on the outboard side is another manifold where you're able to isolate the water flow to the toilet, the head, the shower, and so forth. The boat is equipped with two water heaters. And it's worth noting that if one of those water heaters was to fail, you can isolate that one so that the entire boat is fed from the single water heater that is still working. The valve to isolate that water heater that's not working is located right in that section in right beside the water tank, the water heater itself. With very few exceptions, the starboard hull is very much the same as the port. I hope you've enjoyed this series of technical videos featuring the systems aboard the 510. We look forward to speaking to you again in the future.